what we have is a uh, it's a 16 inch floor tom it's a uh, vintage vintage premier floor tom I didn't want to drill holes in it to make it a permanent bass drum so what I did was I searched the internet and came up with uh, some of the parts that I needed to make this happen and to keep it a bass drum and a floor tom uh, so what I discovered first you're gonna need the 16 inch uh, bass drum hoop which uh, you will use with these temporary bass drum spurs and I found these on the internet and uh, DW makes these and I think they make them for vintage bass drums and anybody who's played a vintage bass drum, like an old Gretsch or a Ludwig, knows the bass drum likes to creep away when you're playing it. They didn't make very good uh, bass drum legs or spurs back in the 50s or the 60s. And uh, these are great for that, too. You can pick these up if you're having a problem with the, with the vintage kit, with the bass drum creeping away. But what I did... And uh, you definitely need a hoop. You definitely need the hoop to attach these. Uh, there's no other way, really, to do it. So uh, what you're going to need is the hoop, uh, these temporary bass drum spurs, and depending on when your uh, when your floor tom was made, you can use uh, these tuning rods. These are Gibraltar. Usually you have about, you're going to need about eight of these. Usually there's uh, eight tuning lugs on your drum. And you're going to need eight of these claws that claw onto the hoop. Um, I'm using this uh, sort of a old school 70s kind of a uh, head in the front of the bass drum. And that's so I can get things in and out of the drum. Or, uh, you know, if I'm recording this drum, uh, this drum has a nice vintage uh, bass drum sound. You can put the microphone right on in inside the drum. Uh, so that's why I have this. Uh, let's see. I, I am forced to use these vintage tuning rods for this floor tom uh, because these won't work. I bought eight of these and realized no bueno. So I had to get the vintage tuning uh, rods. Now the other thing that you'll need is, uh, this thing is pretty cool. It's the uh, bass drum lift that I picked up. Uh, it's made in the USA. And uh, this is what you'll put on the batter side of the bass drum. Basically, you can see the drum rests here on the circumference and lifts uh, the back end of the drum up. And you'll attach your uh, bass drum pedal here. So you really don't need to buy two hoops unless you really want to go that way. If you want to get two hoops, you can do that. But you're going to need 16 of these with the two hoops. And you're going to also need 16 of the claws. And if you do that, you're going to have a nice little bass drum. Uh, but for this video, we're doing a bass drum, temporary bass drum that converts back to a floor tom if you should need it. Okay? So, let's get started. First thing, of course, I put the... Uh, old school uh, drum head on. You can see it's been around a while. Had that a long time. The hoop will then rest on top of that, just like a regular bass drum. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to do each and every one of these for the video. That's going to take too long. But anybody who's Changed the bass drum head, knows, knows the drill. So 
So I'm just going to do this and then when it's pretty much ready, I'll come back to the video.